What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today I wanted to talk about the spot price of silver falling back down into the $23 an ounce range, premium excluded of course, but it's not just silver that's down. Gold is down, the entire stock market is down, even the digital currencies are down which is why I wanted to talk about buying the dip. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos, subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos, go and get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, come and join us in the Precious Metals VIP Club for giveaways, live streams, deal alerts, and a whole lot more, and of course, make sure to go and get your five free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account. Everything will be linked in the description. So today is Monday, April 25th, 2022. The current spot price of silver, as I'm filming the video, is $23.58. It's down 55 cents or down 2.28%. Huge red day for the beautiful white metal. Spot price of gold is $1,894.60. It's nice to see gold under $1,900 again. It's down $37.70 or down 1.95%. A huge red day for the beautiful yellow metal as well. And of course, the gold to silver ratio is in the 80 to 81 to 1 range. But of course, that's as I'm filming the video at like 10 o'clock in the morning, not as I'm editing, posting, or as you're watching. So head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you. I'm always curious. So today, I wanted to talk about the spot price of silver, the spot price of gold, and kind of the general state of the stock market and how everything's holding up today. Because as we saw last week, and the week before, silver and gold have been pretty much moving in an upward direction. Actually, they've been moving in an upward direction longer than just one or two weeks. But I remember last week I posted a video talking about the spot price going up to, I believe it was $26 an ounce. And with the premium included, the average premium, which is about $4 over spot right now, give or take, that would mean that the stack price is about 30 bucks. Stack price is spot price plus the average premium Boom, that's how to calculate stack price. So the stack price was about $30 an ounce, the grand total out the door price tag that you gotta pay for each individual Troy ounce of silver. $30 because the spot price at the time was $26. And I just posted a Q&A video yesterday and I don't even remember if I answered the question in that video or if it was in a previous video because last week I filmed seven videos over the course of three days to give myself a four day break from the internet because I had a three day weekend from work. Wanted to kick back a little bit and take care of some other stuff. But I don't even remember when I answered the question, but one of the questions had something to do with whether or not I think spot price of silver is going to drop back down. And I didn't really think so, at least any time in the very near future. I thought silver was probably gonna sit tight for a little bit of time, especially based on how the stock market was behaving last week because I don't know how many of you remember, but guess what? Last week, the stock market was a very red week. It was either three red days to two green days or four red days to one green day. I want to say it was four red to one green, but I don't want to be fake news over here. But either way, it was a very red week for the stock market, and we closed pretty deep in the red. I remember we were down quite a bit. Yeah, we had some red days during the week, but Friday was a massive red day with the stock market. And something that we've learned and something that we see, something that usually takes place when the stock market is moving in a downward direction, maybe not just down for the day, but when it's going through a period of time where it's just consistently moving further and further and further in a downward direction, that's usually the time that we see silver and gold moving in an upward direction. And the opposite is true as well. When the silver and gold are heading downward, it's usually when the stock market is moving up. See, when it comes to economic news and political news and geopolitical things going on, good news is obviously good news for the stock market and for most of the markets and for most people, let's be honest. But guess what? Good news is usually bad news for the precious metals. The silver and gold don't really like when things are going 
in a positive direction. The silver and gold, they typically thrive when everything else is in chaos, kind of like myself, which might actually be why I gravitate toward the silver and gold. I, I'm just now thinking about that for the first time. But either way, right now, today, the way the market opened up Monday morning, by the way, during the Precious Metals VIP Club weekly Monday morning market open live stream, I do them every single Monday as long as Monday isn't a holiday and the market's closed. Every single Monday, I do a Monday morning market open live stream. So if you want to catch the next one, make sure to come hang out with us in the Precious Metals VIP Club. The link will be in the description. We learned today that not only was silver down, not only was gold down, but the stock market was down as well. I mean, as I'm filming this video, the S&P 500 is down 1.2%. The Dow Jones is down 1.07% and the NASDAQ is down 0.66%. A pretty solid red day across the board. Again, filming the video at like 10 o'clock in the morning. God only knows what the market's going to do throughout the course of the day. But at the moment, everything is red. And if you want to take a look at one of the biggest stocks out there, which is pretty good one to look at considering it's the most valuable brand on the planet, Apple. For the first time in I don't even know how long, it actually dropped down below 160 bucks. It was just $170, $175 just a week and a half ago. It's down below $160, $159.43 to be more specific. And by the way, really quick, speaking of the stock market and speaking of Apple stock, make sure to go and get your five free random stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account. Deposit any amount, you still get your free stocks, I know because that's what I did. And normally it's two free stocks, but they bumped it up to five for this month only, so you only have a couple of days left. Capitalize on that while you can. If you refer one friend, they will give you 10 free stocks for the referral. It's part of their advertising budget. And if you refer three friends by the end of the month, again, you only have a couple of days left, they will give you a spin on the Weeble Wheel, which guarantees you at least one free share of Apple. We just talked about Apple stock with the chance of winning all the way up to 15 free shares of Apple each worth about $159 right now. It's whatever you land on, you spin it, you get one, you get two, you get three, you get five, you get seven, you get 15, it's whatever you land on. Don't pass up on an opportunity. We will link in the description. Time is running out. But now moving away from the stocks, I wanna get back into the silver and the gold. But really quick, and I'll make this fast. In addition, to the silver being down, in addition to the gold being down, in addition to the stock market being down, you want to know what else is down today? The digital currencies. Now, I might not be too big of a digital currency guy. It's not really my thing, which is perfectly fine. A lot of us here, some of us like it, some of us don't. doesn't really matter. I just wanted to point it down because that's another example of something else that's in the red pretty much across the board. The big five, or the most popular five, at least to my understanding, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Doge, Sheeb, and Cardano, four out of five are in the red today. So even the digital currencies are struggling today so far, at least as I'm filming the video at about 10 in the morning. And just in case anybody wants $5 worth of any of those five cryptos for free, once again, if you're on the Weeble app, link in the description, and you refer anyone to the app, and they go and enable crypto trading on the app, Weeble's going to give you $5 worth of a crypto of your choice between Bitcoin, Ethereum, Doge, Sheep, and Cardano. Weeble link in the description. But now moving away from all of that, let's get back into the silver and the gold. Sitting here on screen, we have a nice little selection. We have some silver bars in the center. We have a one ounce Westminster bar. We have a 5-ounce sunshine bar, a 10-ounce sunshine bar, and a 10-ounce silver gold bull bar. Up at the top, we have some 90% junk constitutional silver. We have some Washington quarters over here. We have some standing liberty quarters over here. We have some Roosevelt dimes and mercury dimes over here. Over on the sides, we have a nice little stack of different coins. We have a Type 1, Type 2 Silver Eagle. We have a Kangaroo and a Maple Leaf in this little pile right here. We have a Krugerrand right below it. Over there, we have a couple of Queen's Beasts with a Britannia on top. And then, of course, a 5-ounce Aztec Calendar Round. A nice little selection 
And of course I have a little bit of gold over here to the side as well, but I wanted to primarily focus on the silver today. Although when I'm talking about the silver, I'm really referring to both metals if I'm gonna be honest. When it comes to buying the dip, the overall theme or the topic of today's video, buying the dip. I'm actually really looking forward to buying the dip this week or, or more specifically this upcoming weekend. I'm really looking forward to finally being able to buy the dip. I wasn't able to get a whole lot of silver this month. I wasn't really able to get a whole lot of anything this month, if I'm going to be honest with you. It's that time of the year. We just got past tax day. It was time for Uncle Sam to take his fair share of my earnings. So I had to write a check. So now that I got that out of the way about a week and a half ago, and then this past Thursday was payday for me, I finally got a little bit of currency in my possession. Now that I took care of Uncle Sam, now that I wrote him a check, and now that I got paid, I, first of all, I could, I could finally start eating again, but also I can buy the dip because not only did I get that taken care of, not only did I finally get that direct deposit, but guess what? We're seeing absolutely everything in the red today. And I really hope this carries out throughout the course of the week. Because I'm planning on making a pit stop at the local coin shop. In fact, I've been spending quite a bit of time on the weekends about 30 minutes away from where I normally am. So I'm starting to wonder if there are any coin shops in that area over there. I might have to pay a visit to another local coin shop, a new local coin shop, one that I've never been to before. I'm going to have to start doing some research. I'm going to be honest with you, didn't even cross my mind until I said that out loud a couple of seconds ago, but I might have to visit a new local coin shop maybe this upcoming weekend. But e either way, I'm going to be visiting my local coin shop ASAP, Friday or Saturday, depending on what's going on in my schedule for the week. But either way, I'm looking forward to buying the dip, but I'm really hoping that this dip remains as the dip for the next couple of days so I can capitalize on that opportunity. I don't know how many of you out there believe that silver is going to pop right back up to $26 now, at least the spot price, over the next couple of days. I don't really think so, and I definitely hope not. It'd be nice if silver can sit kind of low for a little bit of time because the average premiums are still about $4 over spot, which means stack price is about... $27, $28 an ounce. Not terrible, especially if you're one of the people, kind of like myself, who believe in silver and have the utmost conviction that silver will continue to climb. The way I see it is this. I personally believe that the spot price of silver will dramatically increase over time. I don't believe it's going to be in the, the 20 something dollar range long term. I believe silver is going to go into the $30 range. I think it's going to go back into the $40 range. I think it's going to go back to $50. And I personally believe that it can go far beyond $50 an ounce. Premium excluded, of course. God only knows what the premiums would look like at that point. But let's just say I'm right. Let's just say things work in my favor. Let's just say silver does go into the $30, $40, $50 an ounce range. Maybe even the $60, $70, $80 an ounce range. You know what we're going to be doing at that point? We're going to be looking back at April of 2022 saying, man, you remember when spot price was 23, 24, 25, 26 dollars an ounce? I really wish I capitalized on more silver at those prices because guess what? We've been there before, except with different numbers. Remember back in the day, about two years ago, or maybe at this point, three years ago, Everybody was complaining. Oh, I don't like silver at $18, $19. I miss silver at $14, $15. Blah, 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 blah. People were complaining. People were saying, oh, it's, it's $18, $19. I'm going to wait for it to come back down. And then guess what happened? Spot price in 2020 surpassed the $20 range for the first time in years. It was the first time in my silver stacking journey that I ever saw those numbers in real time, that is. $20, $22, $24, $26, $28. And guess what? We were all sitting around saying, man, I wish I stacked more silver at $19. 
Do you want to be that person again? We're all of us. We are all currently those people today. I know I am. I wish I stacked more silver at $19 an ounce. I was doing my best at the time. I, w I, I don't want to say that I was slacking. I was definitely picking up as much as I possibly could. I was saving as many dollars as possible and converting them into as much silver as possible. I, I didn't have all the currency in the world to work with. I was doing what I could, but I wish I was able to stack more at $18, $19 an ounce. And now spot price is $23 an ounce with higher premiums than they used to be. So let's just say the same thing happens again, but with different numbers. Let's just say it goes to, I don't know, $35 an ounce. What then? We're going to be sitting there saying, man, I, I, wish, I wish silver would go back down to the mid-20s. Now it's in the mid-30s. I, I miss silver at $23, $24, $25 an ounce. That's what we're going to be saying. And guess what? I don't want to be one of those people that end up regretting just sitting around waiting for something that wasn't even guaranteed. Sitting around waiting for spot price to go back down when it wasn't promised to go back down. There's no, sh It's not a sure thing. We don't know that. We don't know that silver's going to go back down into the teens. I personally don't believe it ever will. I don't think we're ever going to see $19 an ounce silver ever again or anything below that. I don't think it's going to go under $20. Now, don't get me wrong. It would be beautiful to be proven wrong on that because then I can get silver for cheaper. I just don't see it happening. And it's been two years at this point where silver has been in the $20 an ounce range, anywhere between $20 and, and, and $29 an ounce. Two years. I don't necessarily think that silver is going to go back down under $20. I could be wrong. It'd be nice to be proven wrong on that, but I just, I don't see it happening. So if two years can go by, how much longer do you want to wait? Like, oh, any day now. No, it, I don't believe it's going to happen. And it, there is a chance that it could happen, but I'm unwilling to waste time waiting for it. I prioritize my time over money. Time is far more valuable, valuable to me. Time is far more precious to me, more valuable and more important than all the silver and all the gold on the planet combined. I want the time. Don't get me wrong, I want the money too, but if I had to choose between the two, I would choose the time. So I'm not going to waste time waiting for money to do something specific. That's just not my style. But guess what? As I just said in a video that I posted a couple of days ago, it's not about buying low and selling high for me. It's about buying now, selling never, and buying a little bit extra on the dip. And this right now, right here that we're looking at, silver down, what, two and a quarter percent? That's a nice little dip. Time to buy a little extra. At least for me. It might be different for you. It might not be the time for you to be going all in. It might not be time for you to be going full throttle. It might not be time for you to back up the truck or to load the boat or anything like that. But if you've been waiting for a dip, I think we're looking at a little bit of a dip right now. Because just last week, we were looking at $26 an ounce silver with premiums on top of that. Now we're looking at $23 an ounce silver, obviously with premiums on top of that. Not to say that it makes all that big of a difference. Not to say that it's the biggest deal. Not to say that it's really anything of significance at all. But hey, guess what? If you can save a couple dollars per troy ounce, why not? If your goal is to stack silver, why not go after a little bit of silver at a slightly discounted price? Now, if you're not stacking silver, obviously, then this doesn't mean anything to you. Just like if you're not into the digital currencies and, and you see that four out of the five most popular cryptos are down, you might be like, cool, don't care. Well, guess what? If you're not into stacking silver, you might be saying the same thing about the spot price right now. And, and if that's you, then I don't, first of all, I don't even know how you made it 20 minutes into a video about silver if you're not into silver. But I just wanted to point that out. I'm stacking silver. I'm prioritizing silver. It's my method of financial defense with a little bit of gold as well for obvious reasons. A little bit more stability when it comes to financial defense. But guess what? The whole stock market is down too. And as somebody that's been prioritizing a little bit more financial offense as of lately, especially, you know, late last year and, and, and this year so far. 
some huge opportunities are presenting themselves to us. So now's not really the time to kick back and, and be unproductive. I think right now is, is time to put some work in. I think now's the time to be building wealth, for me anyway. It's time for me to be creating wealth, generating wealth, building wealth, setting myself up for the future. Something that I'm going to you know look back in, in 30 years and thank myself for. That's what I'm working on building today. And of course, I'm stacking a little bit of silver, stacking a little bit of gold along the way. I'm trying to preserve little bits and pieces of the wealth that I'm building. But later on down the road, after spending a couple years or even a couple of decades building up wealth, I don't know how much wealth it'll end up being, but I want I, my, my ultimate goal is to take that wealth and, and, and move it on over into something to preserve that wealth, aka even more silver and gold. So I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. When it comes to buying the dip, is that something that you plan on doing right now? Is that something that you plan on doing this week? Is this a dip in your eyes? Keep in mind, it's down two and a quarter percent. Gold is down almost two percent. That's a dip in my eyes. Of course, it could absolutely go lower. It'd be nice if it would go even lower, but it's still a dip regardless of how you want to look at it. So is this a dip in your eyes? Is this a dip that you're going to be buying when it comes to the precious metals, when it comes to the stocks, or even if you're one of the people that are into the, the digital currencies, four out of five are in the red today. Do you plan on buying the dip? Head on down to the comments and let me know. If you guys like today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Go and get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel in the biggest possible way. We got t-shirts, hoodies, stickers, coffee mugs, and a bunch of different designs. A lot of the products are helping us raise some funds and awareness for different charity organizations, by the way. DYDSS store will be linked in the description. Come and join us in the Precious Metals VIP Club, which is where I do giveaways every single month. I have one going on right now. Join before May 1st if you want to get entered. Live streams multiple times a week. Deal alerts on silver and gold almost every single day. You can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. And every Saturday morning, I post a brand new adventure vlog. And there are a ton of other perks as well. VIP Club link in the description. I guarantee you the value exceeds the cost. And of course, last but certainly not least, make sure to go and get your five free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account. Normally it's two free stocks. They bumped it up to five, so capitalize on that while you can. You can deposit any amount, even as little as a penny, and it still counts. You still get your free stocks, I know, because that's what I did. If you refer one friend to the app, Weeble is going to give you 10 free random stocks for the referral. It's part of their advertising budget. Rather than wasting currency on TV commercials and billboards and whatnot, they reward their users for helping them build their app with them. And of course, if you refer three friends by the end of the month, you only have about five days left to do this. They're going to give you a spin on the Weeble wheel, which guarantees you at least one free share of Apple with the chance of winning two, three, five, seven, maybe even 15 free shares of Apple. It's whatever you land on, that's what you get. But even one is fantastic. If you don't want the stocks, go and get them anyway. Sell them. Congratulations. Now you have the currency to go get you some silver or maybe even some gold if that's what you want. We will link in the description. Time is running out. There's a little invite button. All you have to do is click it, send it to the three people that you know. It's quite literally that simple. And I also want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again. What are your thoughts on everything shared in today's video? When it comes to everything being in the red today, what a way to start the week. Red across the board. Silver's down about two and a quarter percent. Gold is down almost two percent. The entire stock market is down. A majority of the digital currencies are down. Everything is down. Do you think now is the time to buy the dip? Will you be buying the dip? Is this something that you're going to be capitalizing on? Is this something that you're going to be taking advantage of? And if so, what do you plan on getting? Maybe some constitutional? That's what I'm going to be getting. Some 90% Washington quarters, most likely. 
if I end up visiting a different or a new local coin shop, one that I've never been to before, I'll see what their prices are. I'll see where I can get the best bang for my buck. And if it's something that makes sense, then I won't turn it down. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you tomorrow. Don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.